Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every week. Oh, okay. This video I've been avoiding for so long. In pretty much all of my videos comment sections, you will find at least one comment asking me to review Lush skincare and I have seen your comments, I have thought about them, and I have ignored them. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't purposely being a bitch. I actually just was really hesitant when it comes to reviewing Lush skincare because of a lot of thoughts that I have. Now, if you guys don't know already, I love just keeping it real on my channel. I try to have a no bullshit opinion when it comes to product and product formulation. Ingredients don't lie. But when it comes to Lush skincare, I'm at a little bit of like a moral, what is it called? Moral road block? Moral roadblock? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, I'm at a little bit of a moral standstill because I don't know how to make up my mind on this topic. I am beating around the fucking bush so much. Basically, I'm going to give you my thoughts on Lush Skincare as a brand, what the products I like, the formulations, them as a company, their social responsibility, all of that shit. And then at the very end, I will be including a very special giveaway for you guys that I'm so excited to announce. So be sure to stay tuned for that so you know how to enter. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> So Lush Skincare, it is a brand that I started using way back when I first started going to college and I first knew what skincare was, but I have not used the products in about mm, a year and a half. And I specifically have not used any of their face products and there's a reason why, and I'm going to get into that reason. So basically this video is gonna be in two different sections. The first is going to talk about why I absolutely love Lush Skincare and the things that I think they are doing amazing as a company. And then we're gonna finish off with the negative stuff, the things that I'm not crazy about, that I don't love about the company. All right, first things first, I'm a realist. The first thing I absolutely love about Lush Skincare is their social responsibility. This is a brand that is all around cruelty-free, vegetarian, tries as often as they can to be vegan, and is handmade in the USA. It is extremely rare to find a brand so dedicated to this aspect of social responsibility. One of the reasons I've had so much respect for Lush for so long is that the products are handmade in the USA. This isn't really a topic that I've talked about too much on my channel, but slave labor when it comes to the cosmetics industry globally is a massive massive problem. If you guys want like a series or videos talking about that, I would love to create it. But yeah, it's a huge issue. So the fact that they not only hand make all of their products in the USA, but they also show the labels of the actual people who made the products is incredible and extremely transparent and just really hard to find a company doing. Another thing I love about the brand is the environmental awareness. And I think this is where I'm most impressed with the brand as a whole. They try extremely hard to produce as little waste as possible. So I went to the Lush store earlier today, I met amazing staff at the Ala Moana location. And here are a few clips of me talking about the brand's environmental awareness when it comes to how they operate. Okay guys, so this is why I absolutely love Lush is because of the initiatives that they always have going on for their products. For example, like with the soap, it says that every purchase of our lavender lime bar soap supports shark conservation and healthy oceans. And then it informs people about like how many sharks are killed every year for the cosmetic industry and just in general. This is what I absolutely love because honestly, when it comes to corporate responsibility for a lot of companies, it's kind of just focused on doing the bare minimum while Lush goes out of their way to be as socially aware as possible. If I was to ever start a company, mark my words, this is the type of company that I would want to create. So one of the sales associates, she was teaching me about kind of their package free um, hair care. They have package free for a lot of different stuff but I did want to focus on hair care. So this is a super cool product she was telling me about. It's a hot oil treatment, which is basically like a hair mask. Oh, look at me. If you've used any type of hair mask, most of the time a shit ton of packaging is involved. You're able to use it without any type of waste. The only type of waste that there is, is the popsicle stick, which is just wood. So there's really no negative or detrimental aspect to the packaging when it comes to this product. Same with the shampoo bar that I'm purchasing. I've used this before and I'm purchasing it again because I absolutely love how it requires no packaging whatsoever. You could just reuse the bar over and over without having to worry about the plastic 
packaging afterwards and you can even put it in one of these tins which I'm also purchasing as well. Another thing I want to touch on is the ethical sourcing that they do. A lot of times when it comes to just any business in general, a lot of brands aren't aware of the depletion of resources that they are taking from certain areas around the world. Resources that significantly affect the survival of certain animal or plant species. And a lot of times companies are taking ingredients at such an unsustainable rate that plant species or animal species could be extinct within the next hundred years, which is so, so horrible. So the fact that Lush is very aware about their sourcing and making sure they do it at an ethical rate is just, it's incredible. And the last thing I love about the company is how they are a key driver of social change within the cosmetic community. This is a brand that partners with so many dozens, maybe even hundreds of nonprofit organizations that they specifically label on their products in order to help make a difference in the world. What other brand do you see that doing consistently with? Honestly, with most brands I know of, I recognize them as a good brand if they partner with one nonprofit organization. This is a brand that partners with so many. And honestly, in my opinion, they are setting new standards when it comes to the skincare community. We really need to level up the way that we look at social responsibility for companies by the example of Lush. And honestly, I am hoping and praying for the future that other companies will follow suit. This is a brand that we need to support simply for the social responsibility. <laughs> because the industry needs to see that brands like this are becoming more and more popular so that more companies like them can be created. All right, so that kind of sums up my thoughts as to why I absolutely love the brand now for the negativity. And disclaimer, this is just my opinion. I'm just expressing what I personally believe when it comes to the approach that I have for skincare. I am not trying to force this on anyone. But the main reason I have not used any of their face products, nor do I really plan to in the future, is because of the way that the products are formulated. The main thing about the product formulations that I don't like is the amount of fragrance that Lush includes in their product formulations. Before I went to the Lush store today, I purposefully did not look at Lush skincare ingredient list because I was too scared that I wasn't going to like the product formulas. It's a brand that I have loved for so long. I love the mission and I was honestly too scared because I was like, I don't want to hate this brand. I don't want to hate this brand. But today I put on my big boy shoes and I looked through the skincare ingredient list and honestly, I was pretty disappointed by what I saw. The main reason that I try to avoid fragrance within skincare is because fragrance is highly irritating to the face. If you're not familiar with fragrance and skincare, I have linked a video in the description box below where I talk all about it, but basically there's two main types of fragrance ingredients that I usually recommend people avoid when it comes to skincare formulations. The first being synthetic fragrance, which this is when it's listed as fragrance or parfum on ingredient lists or linalool or limonene. Synthetic forms of fragrance are highly irritating and can have some possible cancerous side effects. Now these ingredients can be natural fragrance, but regardless, they're still as irritating. The other one is natural fragrance, which is usually essential oils. And this includes like different types of citrus, citrus extracts, orange, lemon, lavender, sandalwood, different ingredients like that that you will find listed on the ingredient list as extracts or oils. Natural forms of fragrance are formulated with high concentrations of fragrant alcohols and when multiplied at the potency that they are can be extremely irritating and can cause fragrance allergies which don't show up until years down the road. A lot of times what companies will do is they will advertise themselves as synthetic fragrance free but include a lot of essential oils within their formulations. This is really problematic because essential oils are very very unstable in skincare products and a lot of times when they're exposed to air and light their state will turn toxic and be highly irritating and damaging to the face. Higher concentrations of essential oils can rapidly increase aging and damage, leading to increased sensitivity and fragrance allergy within the future. And this isn't just me saying it. If you wanna see a dermatologist talk about it, I highly recommend Dr. Dre's YouTube channel. She talks all about fragrance in pretty much every single one of her videos. Like honestly, Dr. Dre's YouTube channel summed up is avoid fragrance at all costs. When it comes to Lush skincare, some of the products I was finding, essential oils were listed as the second ingredient on the product. In addition to five or six other types of essential oils, plus fragrance, plus linalool and limonene. That is a shitload of fragrance within a product. And as much as I love the brand, I personally do not feel comfortable using these products on my face because of the damage that they can inflict. And try as hard as I did, I could not find a single product that didn't have any fragrance in it within the Lush facial skincare selection. All of this being said, Lush representatives, if you are watching this video, one thing that I would absolutely love for Lush to do is to release a fragrance-free line. I would buy that shit in a heartbeat 
I would lose my shit. So with that being said, that is why I personally don't purchase the facial products when it comes to Lush skincare. However, I do want to tell you guys about some of the products that I do recommend, as well as talk about a giveaway that I'm going to be doing. The products that I absolutely love from Lush are the hair care products. First of all, because they are package free, which I think is incredible in reducing waste, but also because it's not as big of a deal if they do include fragrant components because you're using it on your hair, which is already dead skin. I'm personally not very picky when it comes to fragrance in my hair care because I know that I don't let it touch my face and it's not really going to cause any major issues when it comes to the strength and integrity of my hair. At least from what I know. Comment down below if I'm wrong. Their package free hair masks are incredible. Package free shampoo. I've already used one of them. It lasted so long and was just the perfect shampoo for my hair. As well as their package shampoos and conditioners are all great selections for anyone who's looking to support the brand and find really good products from them. I also personally love the body care. I have used the charity pot for a while. I'm personally a fan. Yes, it does include essential oils, but the body skin is much more resilient against fragrant components than the face area. So I'm a little bit more comfortable using it. And I've noticed just amazing results when it comes to my body skin when using Charity Pot. Also, the body washes are pretty bomb AF as well as the bar soaps. Those are all really great products that you can purchase without having to worry about them damaging your skin too much. All right, now that I've talked about all of that, let's get into the giveaway. So when I went to Lush today, I purchased a few products and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna buy some shit and uh, give it to you guys cause I feel like it. I got the things right here. The products include one of the small size of the charity pot. This one supports Reefs for Life, a nonprofit organization saving coral reefs and transforming communities through conservation. You guys know how passionate I am about preserving coral reefs when it comes to the ocean because of sunscreen and different damaging effects like that. And this is a great way of supporting the conservation of the coral reefs. A package free hair mask that you'll be able to use about three times in total. This one's awesome because you just melt it into a cup, put it across your hair, leave it in for 15 minutes and then wash it out afterwards to find volumized hydrated hair and one of their new initiatives the shark fin bar soap for the body this one is awesome because 100 of the proceeds go towards an organization helping to work to save shark species across the world from being killed in brutal ways just to get their shark fins for the most ridiculous reasons it's honestly like a huge crisis considering that sharks are the lungs of the ocean and i think it's incredible that they're using a bar soap to promote that and using 100 of the profits for if you want to win any of these products, be sure to go below and enter the Skincare Junkie community. If you don't know about it, it's a free community that I created. We have over 2,000 members in there, all dedicated to talking about skincare. It's incredible. All you have to do is go to the link in the description box below, which will lead you to my post about this. Comment on the post and you are good to go. I will be selecting the winner a week from now. I'm so excited for one of you special guys to get these products because it really is from a brand that I'm extremely passionate about. All right, I think that sums up my entire thoughts. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I really want to hear your guys' thoughts. I really hope I presented this in a way that's not very biased and not malicious in any way. Like I said, I love the brand. I do have concerns when it comes to the product formulation, but that doesn't mean that I have to go against the brand as a whole. I love what they're doing. I think they're changing the world and I think it's really important that we support them. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.